Good noon, the Miami-Dade Police Department receiving some special police training today to deal with issues concerning the black community. It comes with police reform in the spotlight after the death of Tyree Nichols during a traffic stop in Memphis. Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is in Miami with those details. This training has been so successful that both Miami-Dade and City of Miami Police Departments have made this training a regular part of every cadet class. And I think it's the most realistic training that our uh, trainees can go to. Entering its sixth year, the Circle of Brotherhood provides a unique police training program that puts cadets, officers, civilians, and kids face to face with the issues concerning policing in black and brown neighborhoods. So they get to see what our new officers go through, that we're humble, that we're here to learn, we're here to understand, and we're here to help. The program highlighted nationally after the police beating death of Tyree Nichols in Memphis. Now what you have is a tragedy, and worse of all, a loss of life, and a loss of trust in the community with law enforcement. The Circle of Brotherhood is an organization of primarily black men dedicated to community causes, including crime prevention and conflict resolution. This training hits at the core of human relationships and trauma and racism. The organization hopes more communities follow suit. If this training was done in police departments all across this country, you would see a drastic change in how they interact with members of the community. Trainees commenting on their experience so far. Understanding, uh, a grasp of the community. Not just, you know, oh, here's a citation, here's this, here's that. I want to be able to talk to them and be able to find out what really bothers them, find out what, what the actual issue is and, and solve that problem. If we start off with the youth, we can give them the understanding that, hey, law enforcement is not the enemy. If we all get together, we have the conversations that need to be had, that we all have the same goals. And here in Brownsville, 38 cadets are participating in today's training. That is the very latest from Brownsville. Syra Onwer, Local 10 News.